by default eclipse software is not having java ee perspective so go to help and go to install new software so you will be able to get work with option so select uh, downloads eclipse release luna so you'll be able to see the option which is named as web xml java double e osgi enterprise development you can click then select the respective or you can click all web xml java e and osgi enterprise development check that and click on next we'll list all the applications click on next accept the license agreement and click on finish will take some time to install now once the installation is done you can click on file new you'll be able to go to other so there you will be able to see now java ee options so if you want to create an enterprise application project click on enterprise application project and give the project name so i'm giving a project name here enterprise application project name so here we have not installed the tomcat or any application server that's why target runtime is not showing anything we have to configure the tomcat into the eclipse otherwise the enterprise applications won't work with the application server is not available click on finish so application has been created now this application won't work having an application server so we will see in the next tutorial how to configure the tomcat server into eclipse